I know. You're bored? Yeah, your your head's all wet because I just washed your eyes. <laughs> That's my boy. It'll be better. And hey, the next place we go is going to be effing awesome. Did you just wink at me? Did you just wink at me? Hi, everybody. Just a beautiful day out here today. It's about 9 a.m. I think it's supposed to get up to 73, 74 degrees today. After yesterday, uh, we had a really windy day yesterday. Warm temperatures, but uh, like a, a front came through and we had gusts, I'm gonna say they were 40 miles an hour uh, during the afternoon. And then by about 5 p.m. it dropped off. So we were holed up in the truck and the truck, the wind was coming from the south. So it was just hitting the passenger side, or I'm sorry, the driver's side of the truck. And we were sitting in there yesterday and just rocking back and forth and back and forth. I finally had to get out and take off the cab cover because it had come loose on one side so the cab cover is off right now I'm gonna put it back on today we have to run into town so I'll put it back on when we come back from town but what I wanted to talk about is some of the different things that I do to stay cool you know now that the temperatures are gonna start climbing. I have a couple of things that help me keep us cool up into the low to mid 80s. Why did you just jump up there? So if you've watched the channel for a while, you know I have a window air conditioner, a 5000 BTU window air conditioner that I installed in the truck. And so you might say, well, why don't you just run the air conditioner? Well, the air conditioner definitely will cool the truck down. There's sacrifices, I'm gonna say. Running the air conditioner, it's loud. You know, this is a small area. So if I'm running the air conditioner, it's difficult to, you know, like I gotta really crank up the television if I'm watching videos. So it, it kind of takes over uh, the, the sound inside of the truck. I run the air conditioner when we get up into the 90s um, when it becomes uncomfortable up to the mid 80s i can keep us comfortably cool by just following a couple of simple tricks that i've learned since i've been out on the road that might be petrified wood interesting so a lot of rigs like mine have no window on the driver's side right here so I use that as uh, an advantage by keeping this side of the truck pointed towards the sun's path. So right now, uh, you know, the sun, it's early in the morning, 9 a.m. The sun comes up over there in the east and the sun sets over there in the west. Now you can see on the passenger side, the shade is already starting to build. And by the time it gets to be 10, 11 a.m. and the sun is up here, we get a whole lot of shade on this side of the truck. So I park in a way that that's the hot side and this is the cool side of the truck. I do that when we're going to be, you know, 70 degree weather plus. If it's cooler than that, I'll park 90 degrees so I'm getting sun on the door side in the morning and then as the sun goes that way, then it starts hitting the, the driver's side. So if I'm parked 90 degrees from where I am now with the door facing this way, I'll get morning sun to warm us up on really cold mornings. And then the afternoon sun will be hitting the driver's side of the truck and we won't feel that. I do that when it's colder. Uh, right now, you know, it's getting warm enough in the afternoons that I want to keep the sun on that side of the truck and this is our cool side and this allows really cool air from this shade as soon as i step into the shade 
as soon as you come into the shade out here, the temperature drops off dramatically from when you're in the sun. So I've got really cool air available on this side of the truck that I will pull inside and up through the, the roof vent fan. Now the other thing that I do, I have Reflectix in both of my back windows and that blocks the, the heat from the, the morning sun from coming inside the truck. Sunlight is your enemy when you're trying to control heat inside the truck. Sunlight coming through a window it tremendously heats up the inside of the truck. If you get Reflectix and you've got sun beating through the window and then you pop the Reflectix in the window, you can immediately, immediately feel the warmth drop down. When it's warm, you want to keep sunlight out of the truck. So Reflectix in the back windows, sunlight always hitting this side of my rig where there's no windows, and then having the cab cover on the front. So in the afternoon, at the hottest part of the day when the sun is, is up in front of the truck and hitting the cab, that's going to be blocked by the cab cover. Now I'm able, like I said, to up into the low 80s, low to mid 80s, I can keep us comfortable. I can step up in the truck during the afternoon. I've got the cool air coming in from the shaded side of the truck and it, it remains comfortable, uh, not uncomfortable inside the truck. Is it air conditioned? No, but I don't have to run the air conditioner up into the mid 80s. I don't have to run the air conditioner and I can stay comfortable uh, if I got to go up inside the truck. Now, if I were to not follow these steps, uh, for example, if I didn't have the Reflectix in the back and I, if I was parked with the sun hitting the door side of the truck, the amount of heat coming into this door from the sun, it would make it unbearable in here. So by just parking strategically, putting that Reflectix in the back window and putting the cab cover on the front, that is a, I'm able to control the heat by doing just those simple things. Now the best thing you can do for yourself is how you park. Look at what the path of the sun is and park strategically based on the path of the sun. For me, I do not want the sun hitting the door side of my truck. Heat just billows in from the sunlight through this door opening and you'll never control the warmth that way. Now if you're in a, a cold climate with sunlight, you might want to park with the door side in the sun to warm you up if it's that cold out. So you've got options, but the, the best thing you can do for yourself is to park strategically based on the path of the sun and what your temperatures are outside. Cold, you want sun on the door side. Warm, you don't want sun on the door side. You want it on the, on the driver's side where there's no windows. Here's something else that I do. Once the sun has gone about midday and later when the back of the truck is in the shade i crack the back doors open and this allows cool air to come in the side door or the side window and go right through and out that back door it gets a beautiful cool air cross breeze so once the back is in the shade you can do that too so these are just a couple of things that i do that i've learned to do since I've been out on the road. Very low cost, obviously parking doesn't cost you anything, you know, parking strategically. A couple of small pieces of Reflectix for the back window is very inexpensive. And a cab cover, I think they run about $45. Now I was lucky enough to get my cab cover uh, donated from Bob. Thank you again, Bob. I use that thing all the time. That um, is a real key to keeping the cab cool. You know, you can use Reflectix up there and I used to use Reflectix but it's cumbersome, you know, you gotta store it. It's, uh, the windshield piece is pretty large. I have it, I still have it uh, behind the passenger seat, um, but putting it in and taking it out, it's just not worth it to me. And then you've got the two pieces for the door windows and throwing the cab cover on only takes a minute. It lets some light in but it bounces the temperature off. Do this, when you get one of those cab covers, have the cab of your truck getting hit by sunlight, right? It's all hot when you crawl up there, and then throw the cab cover on. You will immediately feel a temperature drop off up in the cab, and then you'll be a true believer in having one of those cab covers because they control the temperature tremendously, and they let just enough light in that you can still see up there. So I, I would, I would use a cab cover 
instead of Reflectix up in the front of the truck. So I hope these tips help somebody out there that's just starting out. You will learn how to do these things the, the longer you're out on the road and you'll get better at staying comfortable. My goal is to just be comfortable all the time. And before I learned how to do these things, I wasn't comfortable. I would have days where I was hot and then I realized that just in the, the simple way that I was parking was causing me to be uncomfortable and I fixed that. Follow my tips if they make sense. I hope everybody is having a great time out there. Be good, we'll see y'all really soon.